Okay, welcome to module two of the Google Sites basic tutorial. This part of the uh, tutorial is about how to make new pages and delete pages. So we're going to cover how you can make a new page, um, how you can use page templates, which are sort of pages that have already been pre-designed that you then just update the contents on, um, how you can make your own template and then save a page as a template, how you define your page settings, which, you know, various features about how different pages look to the people that are on them. How you can adjust the name of your page, which will, you know, show up in the any menus that the page refers to. How to delete a page. Okay, so now we're going to look at how we can make a few pages um, and work with pages and page options. So I'm already logged in at, in one of my Gmail addresses, and um, this Gmail address has uh, access to the website that we're working on for the tutorial. So again, I go to More, and I choose Sites. Now here, this will show all of the websites that are linked to that email address. So I'm working on the EDUP Foundation website for the tutorial. And um, if I want to create a page, all I do is um, click here, create page. And I can select from any number of different templates, which are templates that I've already made previously. We'll learn how to do that in a minute. And um, I might have a template for slideshows or for index pages, for showing videos. Uh, a design that uses a big image like maps and so on, uh, a page that showcases different types of media. It depends what you need for your website. So you look at your content and what type of style you might use over and over again, and then you make that into a template page, which you can use over and over again. Um, so for this exercise, we're going to use this example, which is a three-column page, which I've made previously. And we're going to call this tutorial three column. So the name that you use here um, will be the name that shows up in the URL of the page itself. Um, it will also be the name of the page that will show up in the menu and so on and so forth. So you need to think quite carefully about what this name is going to be. Um, you can change it later, but it's always best to get it right the first time. And then the next thing you want to decide is where you want that page to sit. So, um, in terms of your infrastructure. So in your infrastructure, it's like a filing system. So you've got pages that are inside pages or under pages. Um, so with this one, you can either put it at the top level, um, which is the same like home, and so on, or you can put it under another page like Welcome to EDAP Foundation, or you can choose another location. So if you click on Choose a Different Location, what comes up is your website's sitemap. So I think um, for this example, we're going to choose to put this page under Contact Us. Um, so it'll be a sub page of the Contact Us section of the website and then just click select and then create page so here's our standard three column content it's already got some content in it um, we're in editing mode you can see that because the um, lines and so on and uh, here's the name of the page that we selected earlier written right here and again, here's the name of the page written up here in the URL of the page itself. Um, now, the next thing we want to do is to learn how to make your own templates. So say, um, I started with this, but it's not exactly what I want. Like, I don't really want these images over here, so I just delete those. Um, and I want to move some of this text over to this area and delete a bit here and have a bit less text there 
and I want to use a different layout for this. So I can go to layout, where you have all these different options for page layouts. I think I want to change this to a two column instead of three column. So, um, here's sort of a, a new template, a new style sheet for my page. And I think I want to call this the um, two column template. So first I have to save what I've done. So save. And you can tell when you've already finished saving when this yellow box comes up. And then to save this page as a new template, which I'm going to be able to use over and over again, then I go to more actions, save page as template, and just simply click save. Um, you know, you can rename this template into anything you want. So there's my template. It's in the template section of the site. So under Google Sites template, um, it's got this name. Uh, you can change the name at this point. So you call it the three columns or whatever it is. And then make any final, final um, tweaks of your template style and click Save. And then if you click on here, View Template Listing, you'll see all the different templates that you've got to work with at this point. So here, here's the templates that we saw before when we were making a new page. And here's the new template that we just made a few minutes ago. And if we return to our website, now if we want to create a page, so let's do that again. We go create page. We have this new template here as an option to choose from. So if we clicked on that and using the template is the name of that page. And uh, we'll put it over there. Create page. There it is. There's a new page made using our new template. Um, again, you can, once it's a template, you can change any of the content however you want. Um, it'll just follow the basic formatting of the template that you made. So let's click Save. Now, so where are those pages? Um, the thing you want to get kind of familiar with is uh, how your page, how your website is structured, like what's in the back end of your website, what's your filing system for your website. Um, so we're going to have a look at that briefly, and we'll go into that in more detail in one of the later modules, but we'll just have a quick look. So over here, um, we have this section called Pages. Now Pages is your basic site structure. Um, and you can see that these are my major headings in my website. So the things that you see along the top of the um, navigation bar is these pages. If I click under About EDEP, you'll see that I have several sub-pages in About EDEP. And um, if you look under Contact Us, you'll see that we placed the tutorial page in there. So when we chose where we want that page to sit, that's where it shows up inside. So there's that using the page, using the template page that we just made. Um, so you can work with this structure um, as a way of navigating where you want to go to your site while you're still building the site. So if we click on using the template, it'll take us back to that page that we just made. Um, now, pages can have different types of settings. Um, there's a few things you can do with that. So let's have a look at what those are. So if you click here, there's an option called Page Settings. If you just open that up, and these are the major settings for your page, which are really quite important. So you've got 
show the page title so that would be the using the template that we selected as the page title when we made the page links to sub pages um, that shows if there's any other pages that sit underneath that page they'll automatically show up allow attachments is if you want to load attachments onto that page for people to download allow comments is a way to you know if you have a site that multiple people are sharing information about and want to comment on that's the option you can use for that and then this is the actual URL of the page which is what's listed as the address of the page so at the moment that's called using the template let's try changing that to uh, new address and we'll see what happens with that and let's put on all of these features and we'll see how that looks safe okay so this is telling you that the URL has been changed to new address here you can see um, where the uh, site sits this is the title of the page that we asked to show and then here at the bottom of the page you now have the attachments um, and you can add more attachments, we'll, we'll work a bit on that later. And you can also have comments, so you know, someone could say, uh, say you're working with a multiple group of people on developing a site, they could give feedback like, suggest you change the title to whatever, or whatever the comments might be. That function can be used in different ways, and then you just click add the comment. So it shows that it was me that made the comment, it shows what the comment is, and um, the admin uh, level people have the ability to remove those comments whenever they want. So generally when I make a website to keep it nice and clean, um, I tend not to use these different functions. I might turn them on while I need them, but then turn them off again, which keeps the page looking more clean. and. Uh, simple, which is generally a good look for a website. So you take that off, 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 and off, and click save. Then all of those things are gone. No longer there. And um, last but not least, we need to know how we can delete the page. So say you have a page and you decide you don't actually need it. It's very easy. You just go to more action. I mean, make sure you're in the page that you do want to delete at the time. So you just go to more actions, uh, delete page. Delete. That's it. Your page is now gone.